The god of destruction Beerus is not one to mess with. Despite his goofy attitude at times, Beerus definitely solidifies his position as destroyer, showcasing his limitless capacity of destruction on numerous occasions. And so it seems that his power can't be rivaled, well with the exception of characters who stand above him. However, can his power be challenged by the Saiyans, most specifically the main character of the show, Goku? And could Goku even surpass Beerus? Now we obviously know the famous Toriyama interview that everyone and their dogs just love to quote, where Toriyama stated, if Beerus is a 10 in terms of power, then Whis would be a 15 and Goku would be a 6. These are numbers granted by the original author of the series for a reason, and that is for us fans to have a grasp on where these characters stand. This scale is very appreciated by Toriyama, however there is two problems with it. One, that Toriyama was obviously referencing the Battle of Gods movie, where yes, if we go by the movie, these numbers go perfectly well, but in Dragon Ball Super, it's a little tough to say. The second problem with the scale is that Toriyama gave us these numbers in an interview where he said he didn't know where the series was going. So it's not hard to imagine that he could have altered the scale in favor of Dragon Ball Super to continue. Though I don't think it was altered that much, and I will explain not from the Battle of Gods perspective but from Dragon Ball Super's perspective. Now I apologize in advance for all the Beerus fans. But we need to be real for a moment, because while yes, Beerus is incredibly powerful and intimidating, but I don't believe he was hundreds of times stronger than Super Saiyan God Goku like some believe, and it's for one simple reason that almost a lot of people try to bury under the rug, and that's the 10% line that Beerus tells Vegeta. That 10% line was a nightmare to many power scalers, which is quite hypocritical as these power scalers complain so much that the series didn't give give them any gauge of power, but when it does, people start panicking. But let's not dip our toes there and focus on the line that Beerus clearly says in Dragon Ball Super. And again, this means two things. One, that Vegeta focused Beerus to use more than 5% of his strength, making raged Vegeta at a minimal of 5-7% to compared to Beerus. And second, which is the most important part, Goku's red god form has to be more than 10% of Beerus' power in Battle of Gods. After all, the whole premise of Battle of Gods is for Beerus to find someone who could rival him in power. And while he didn't use his full power, but it is obvious that he used more than 50% of his strength, otherwise the whole arc would have been pointless. Now I have seen some geniuses in the community who try to play the Oh, but we don't know argument, which trust me, if you're a Dragon Ball fan on YouTube, you see this comment almost every day, where some say, Beerus' power increases exponentially with every percent, and some telling me that Toriyama gave us a logarithmic gauge of Beerus' power. Um, yeah guys, allow me to introduce you to Akira Toriyama, an average manga artist, but a brilliant mathematician. <sighs> Moving on, we know Super Saiyan Blue is stronger than Red which should put Goku closer in, into closing the gap with Beerus. And yes, blue is stronger than red, it is a refutable fact, unless the anime contradicts itself and changes that later on. Goku also has the Kaioken where it should have increased his power by times 10 at maximum. However, I still believe while the Kaioken could make Goku stronger than Beerus as Goku specifically stated that the technique was developed so he could use it against Beerus. In addition, Beerus looked so freaked out and lost his composure by just seeing the technique activated. But again, a temporary increase in power won't end the fight. So if Super Saiyan God is not enough to overthrow Beerus, what is? The answer should be obvious, it's the next level, the next God transformation. And although Toriyama did say a few months ago that he had no plans in making Goku surpass Beerus, but like Toriyama demonstrates, he tends to change his mind. And if he does, then he would introduce a new form for Goku which will be the only possible way, as no amount of training with Super Saiyan Blue or Red can make Goku surpass Beerus. But the better question, what color do you think the next form will be? But anyways, tell me your thoughts in the comments, I'm interested in hearing your perfectly well put together, respectful, and overall constructive comments. Also, speaking of which, I know a lot of will mention that Beerus has the power to supposedly destroy anything. But like I said, because he only used it twice against characters whom were much weaker than him. One of them was in the most filler nonsense episode ever. But regardless, whether you believe he can one-shot anyone, I'm still only comparing power 
and not ability. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, please like, comment and subscribe. Peace.